Today, I thought we would break it up a bit and dig into what I'm doing here in Kleppen and sort of where I see my ski career going for the next who knows how many years. So I guess we can start with the main question, why do I still ski? And the answer to that is pretty simple, is because I love to ski. I have found the love again that I used to have when I was 18 and I don't think there's anything that makes me feel better than skiing. The, the cool thing about where I'm now is that my body feels good and I can ski and just have fun without being in pain. The last couple years was, it was a bit tough. Like my, I blew my knee and I hurt my back and, and sort of it wasn't, when your body hurts, it's not as fun to ski. So I was kind of wondering like, how long am I going to do this for? Like I, I don't enjoy it. Like I wish I was in Monaco or surfing in Bali and things like that. But now I love where I'm at. So I guess a lot of people wonder, are you a professional skier if you're not competing? And I guess the answer to that is, the definition of being a pro skier is that you make money skiing. And 10 years ago, in order to make money skiing, you had to win events, to be on TV, to give your sponsors exposure so they could sell products. Nowadays, you can build an exposure platform with social media, with Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and all this. And so, I'm not competing, but yes, I would probably call myself a pro skier. And I think I'll probably won't do that the day that I feel that I can't do a double flip. Like if I'm just sort of skiing and getting exposure, then no, I am not a pro skier. I'm a blogger. While I can do a double flip, I, I think I'll, I'll still call myself a pro skier, but that's kind of why I'm here. I want to be able to progress my skiing to a level where I'm sort of proud of what I'm doing. and. I want to be a pro skier, so that's why I want to go up there and push myself. I think what I did wrong over the last four or five, well, maybe even six, seven years, is that I, I was always on my own program. I went to build these special jumps and spent a lot of time building the jumps. And I think I lost a lot of joy in skiing when I did all that. Because now I realize when I'm back with the boys up here and just hanging out, I realize that is the important thing. Like being up here with your friends skiing, that is what makes skiing fun. And when you're having fun, you're learning a lot of stuff. So I'm just super, super happy to be out here with all the friends. Um, of course, when you grow up, there will be a lot of other things in life besides skiing. I mean, now I feel like I have six full-time job besides skiing. So for me, whenever I get to go skiing, it's like a six hour vacation from sort of the, the working life. And I love doing all the things I do on the side, but I don't think I would be able to handle it if I didn't have skiing. Cause skiing, when I get on the lift, it's like, bah, I let every thought I have in my head go and, and just kind of live in the now. So it's two different worlds and it's part of growing older, but I love the fact that I have skiing to kind of balance everything out. Yeah, so competing wise, I mean, I've done a lot of contests in my life. I've done X Games. I actually won X Games. I did World Cup in ski racing and it's been really cool to see all of that and I guess the only problem with being a competitive person is that, like, am I happy with my competitive career? And I wish I could say, yes, I am 100% happy. But then again, I have never, ever been 100% happy with anything I've done in my life. But I think that is what actually got me to the point where I am now, being able to live the life I do. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I achieved a lot more than I expected, but there's always more. So I guess to sum it up, you probably wonder how long do I plan on doing what I do now and how long am I planning on being a skier? And to be honest, if you would have asked me that two years ago, I would have said maybe a year, maybe, maybe two. And now after the last couple of weeks, feeling the joy I do again, I'm like, you know, as long as my body can handle this, I want to keep on doing this for as long as I can. Cause it is, when it is slushy, there's nothing better than hitting a good park jump. So I might ski less in like October, November, December because ice is, I hate ice, I'd rather go surfing. But I will try to search out springtime and ski a lot more. I mean, that's kind of the reason why I'm up here in Kleppen skiing and not doing gumball because I, I love it. I'm like back, I had the stoke back again. So uh, I am very, very happy with where I am in my life right now. And I hope that skiing will be a part of it for a long time but in order for it to be that I need to grow balls and keep progressing because that is really what pushes me every day. Marcus! 
I just got a notification in my phone. We are going to start the morning with Marcus. First benefit of filming a video vlog every day. I got the diamond card with SAS. That means I can give away a free gold card 